What's your full name? Full name, Kamaruddin Usman. Where are you from? From Aochi, Nigeria. What's your fitness routine like? Fitness routine is crazy. <laughs> crazy. So many, I think I work out probably two to three times a day. About two, and a, two hours, two to three, two and a half hours each session, so yeah. Describe yourself in two words. Two words. Disciplined, calculated. If you weren't a fighter, what would you be? If I wasn't a fighter, I'd probably be a marriage counselor. Why? I love to help people solve problems. But now you solve problems with your Yes, yes. It's another form of solving problems. Can you tell us five countries in West Africa? Five countries in West Africa. Cameroon, Nigeria, Morocco, Benin. It's actually a country. Yeah. Um, and uh, Algeria. I guess that's. Algeria is in North Africa, Cameroon is in Central Africa. I mean, <laughs> uh, it's close, close. Cameroon, what is it? Togo? Yeah. Yes, Togo. Yeah. Uh, Ghana? Yeah. yeah. Ivory Coast is there too? Yes. Yeah. What's your daughter's favorite song? Daughter's favorite song. It's changed a bit. Initially, first when she was really little, like two, two and a half, was Whiskey, Show Me the Money. I have videos of her dancing, Show Me Your Pocket, Show Me Your Pocket. <laughs> that was it. Now, um, in the last two years, it was probably, I think the last two years, year and a half, was uh, Sugar Mommy by Tenny. Yeah. Yeah. Tenny Makanaki. Sugar Mommy. <laughs> Lonely Poppy. Poppy Lonely. Yes, she loves that. She used to love that song. So now she's, you know, she's getting to that age. She's about to be seven. So she's liking the little pop songs now. So, yeah. What's the most girly thing she's ever made you do? The most girly thing my daughter's ever made me do. We've done a lot. We play with dolls. We've, we've had tea parties. We've gone to the salon, got our manicures and pedicures done. So yeah, she she she's changed me a lot in just being a uh, strong man to that more sensitive side. Okay. Yes. I've seen the videos when you guys are training. And oh yeah. The EA Sports five star. Yeah. And everything. She gets it in too. She'll train. Yeah. She's a gymnast and she does jujitsu. Would you support her if she wanted to be a pro fighter? Absolutely. I would support her in anything that she almost anything that she really wanted to do. Um, but she's already told me that she's not gonna do that. She said, Daddy, you know I'm not gonna fight, right? <laughs> I said, it's okay, you can do whatever you wanna do. What fight has been your toughest so far? What fight has been my toughest so far? And that's because I made it my toughest. It was probably the, uh, the Covington fight. Just because I, I made it my toughest by, I took it more punches than I should have. But that was because I, I didn't necessarily care for the guy. I just wanted to see blood. I just wanted to, I wanted to break him. I wanted to hurt him. So I, as far as tactically, I didn't really, that wasn't my concern, which I think I'm the most tactical fighter in, in the organization, in the sport. And in that fight, it didn't need to be tactics. It's just, you know, if there's a problem with the other guy from, from down the neighborhood, that is just the problem, it's just all the way up to your neck. We need to solve it. And that one, I just needed to solve it with my fists. I didn't care about tactics, I just wanted to hurt him. You didn't for that guy, it was personal. Yeah, that one was very, very personal. A lot, most of the fights are personal because that one was beyond. Mm -hmm. That was right there to where nothing else would satisfy me but seeing blood. If I would've just went there and just smacked him and the guy was unconscious, I would probably wake him up just so I could continue to beat it. <laughs> so mention one thing most people don't know about me. One thing most people don't know about me is, uh, what would most people don't know? I mean, nowadays my life is out in public, so people don't feel like they know every, almost everything. <laughs> I am very calculated. One thing people don't know about me. Well, they know I'm, I'm a competitor. So it doesn't matter what it is, I'm competitive. If it was who can uh, walk the fastest down the hall, let's go. I'm taking that money. Last thing you ate before this interview? Last thing I ate, we just uh, had some small chops, um, you know, some fried yam and, and some stew. We had those. Uh, I actually had breakfast. 
I love to eat breakfast anytime, so it was kind of scrambled eggs with peppers and spinach and, and some pancakes on the side. Really what I just said. I don't eat chop fufu since I land. <laughs> Favorite Nigerian food that's not jollof rice? Favorite Nigerian food that's not jollof rice is paladiam and okra soup. UAR or Nigeria? Nigeria. UAR or Nigeria? Definitely Nigeria. Have you ever been scared before a fight? Yes, every fight. How do you deal with this? It's the definition of courage. Is being scared and still walking forward to prevail. As a fighter, how do you control your temper in everyday life? As a fighter, how do I control my temper in everyday life? It's it's a it's a switch. I'm one of those fighters who I can turn it on or I can turn it off. And you know, when it's time to fight, you will see me before I walk into the cage. I crawl up the cage. I stand there, I say my prayers. And when I cross into the cage, I leave Kamara Usman behind and the Nigerian nightmare enters the cage. Translate this Nigerian proverb. Lion or the bone goats? <laughs> a, lion doesn't, a lion doesn't give birth to a goat. Uh, uh, if you're, I feel like if you're a real lion, if you're the real, you know, the giant, you know, you don't, I'm not here with them. I'm not here. I'm not here with, you know, I don't play with the foolishness. I don't, I don't lower myself down for that. So I, that's how I translate it. Complete this saying, Wahala be like bicycle. That's what I, Wahala be like bicycle. I'm going to be, what do you call it? Naija Magazine or the one, Instagram, this thing. Wahala be like bicycle. That's what they use, right? Every day. Wahala be like bicycle. We know they have to start. Oh, I, I never got that. I never got that. I, I, I hear the wild, I don't be like bicycle, but I don't hear, you know, they have to start. I don't be like bicycle, so the problem is not, it's not difficult to start a yeah, problem. Yeah, really? Yeah, wild, I don't be like bicycle, you know, they have to start. Uh, no, that's true. That's very true. Not true. Not true, it talks, so wild, I don't be like bicycle. What does this mean? You're weary, they disguise. You're weary, they disguise. I uh, don't know that one. Ah. You know, say I don't day Yankee since. Ah, they connect. Nah, uh, uh, you know, see as I say, my pigeon so still sharp, you sharp. Ah, uh, uh, they follow Paul since. Yeah, see, and uh, nah, they know now. Nah. Don't you they know, follow Paul since now? Nah. But you know now, nah, my followers don't. So I. Ah. Uh, Oh, okay. So, well, so this one, they make sense to me now, but you just, you know, you have to school me small, small now. Ah, the way they disguise. I, know. I, yeah, I just, you know, I just reached down. I like, you know, two days ago. So give me like one week. I don't cram everything. Yes, now. Nah. What's the worst injury you've ever gotten during the fight? The worst injury I've ever gotten during my fight. Uh, I tear my um, my adductor, which is this this ligament here, tendon. Where you feel the open leg, closed leg. This one, I tore it. Yeah, I tore the muscle all all here, and it went into my leg. That one bad. That's that's one way down. Bad reach where three months I don't feel do anything. So that yeah, not serious. Most embarrassing moments before or during a fight. Most embarrassing moment before or during the fight. Uh, it's hard to to be really embarrassed before or during the fight because your your heart is you know you're about to be in danger, so nothing else matters. You know, you know yeah, shame. You will piss like fifty times for back before you go enter uh, the ring because it's uh, you know say something will happen. You know. When was the last time where you schedule fight? You tap a scene for the other block, say, ah, three o'clock, we go fight. Everybody's gathered here, they watch, and you know, say, two, 2.45, 2.50, fight, they come. Three o'clock, fight, they come. So you know it, you know, it's one of those things that you can't, you can't imagine and you can't express. Anything will happen before, you don't care, ah. If you piece on my leg, we we'll fight for the fight first start, but uh, before we reach the correct fight. But shame not a day before. After shame feet day. Like when you don't, you know, you don't day okay, you don't win the fight finish, you don't ginger where you do waka if you fall like this, everybody they laugh. Yeah, shame feet day. But before, shame not day, who care? 
Finally, message to your fans. Message to my fans. Uh, I don't, I don't understand what you know they do. Uh, 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Now they stay up, they watch us fight. Thank you. We appreciate it. Myself, Israel, Francis, we appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much.